This next one is for Arthi. And it's from... Me, 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 me. I'm gay. Yeah, we know. Well, I needed to say it out loud, and I should have said it sooner. I'm sorry. Open your present. My beautiful suffix, today I want to put you guys onto a Netflix show called Glow. You like girls? I love girls. Cool. Uh, does Sam know? Does he need to know about our personal life? First things first, with every season, this show just kept getting gayer and gayer. And honestly, that is the kind of character development I love to see in shows, in friends, and myself. When I'm in the same room as you, I just want to grab you and pin you to the bed. Okay, so pin me. <laughs> Glow is a made-up story inspired by the gorgeous ladies of the wrestling TV series from the 80s. <laughs> Sis Beam, we're back together. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yolanda is a lesbian stripper who joins Glow at the beginning of season two. We got a big match coming up. We need to focus. Why don't you calm down? They're just airing their shit. Calm down? Why don't you calm down? Oh, I'm calm and ready for our tango. Yo, stop fucking flirting with me. I'm straight and I'm married. Really sensitive. Yeah. Everybody yeah. shut the Just fuck you up. You want to know why the men are better? It's because they shut up, do their jobs, and they don't talk about their feelings ever. Artie, on the other hand, is portrayed as a stereotypical Muslim terrorist, which she hates as she's not a Muslim herself. Season 2 ends with Artie's realization that she has feelings for Yolanda. See? How I accepted that? I don't want this to end. What if we, uh, kept living together? I'd be into it. Season 3 starts with Artie's huge transitional moment. Her relationship with Yolanda. She's good, right? Oh, man. Did you two actually fall in love during that stupid dream ballet? You did. Oh, that's cute. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. I don't. She invited me here. Okay. Which is in full swing right from the start. So, yes, season three kicks off with lesbian sex. Yolanda and Artie are in different places with their own identities. And some of that is shown as relationship drama throughout the season. I'm good. I didn't do anything yet. You don't need to. That was fun. Yeah. Let's go to sleep. The plot lines were intriguing and had a beautiful mix of drama and comedy. We do seem intense, girl. What's up? Boyfriend trouble? Basically. Always is. I know I'm good in bed. Never had a complaint before. But he's, like, uptight or something, and it's pissing me off. I dated this guy who washed his hands the second we finished fucking. But truth to be told, I do like how the show approaches their relationship. What are you guys talking about? Guy trouble. You know? I do know. It's funny, because my boyfriend is being weird. It's like he doesn't want to spend the day together even though we've been waiting for weeks to have some free time. And they don't seem to have any storylines outside of their relationship with each other. Maybe he wants some time for himself. Maybe he could actually communicate that to me instead of running off like some middle school boy. It's funny you say that, because my boyfriend, he's also like a middle school boy, but more in the experience department. And yet he's pretty good at making you come. You know what? Fuck it. I don't need a haircut. I don't need a boyfriend either. But let's be honest, there are plenty of opportunities for them. Again, the only queer woman on the show that somehow brims with big dyke energy. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, that was 
just a fight where people say mean things they don't mean. Haven't you ever been in a fight? I haven't been in anything. I don't want to break up with you. I just want you to let me touch you. I learned exactly what you like and how to do it. And you see how satisfying that is for you? To make me feel that good? I want to feel that way too. The show still manages to dig into a lot of deep stuff for several different characters this season. I'm not sexy like you. I'm not comfortable all splayed out like that and I don't... Oh my god, you are crazy. You're so sexy and beautiful. Shit. When I'm in the same room as you, I just want to grab you and pin you to the bed. Okay, so pin me. Every single character was top quality and it was so compelling to watch. I found myself invested in every single one of them. Look, when people show you who they are, you have to pay attention. Don't make excuses. Your friends disappointing you? This is the type of shit you have to deal with when you're gay. And what if you don't know? If you're, you know. I felt I was watching real people as opposed to actors acting like real people. And what made this possible was most definitely the writing and the talent. I know I'm in love with you and I want to be with you, but I'm not sure if I'm that word. So what are you then? Why do I have to be anything? I can't fuck with a straight girl who doesn't know who she is or what she wants. I didn't say that. You did. And yes, I get it. Friendships between straight women can be romantic or whatever, but I'm sorry. Are we all watching the same show? Because this feels gay as fuck. My ass is four times the size of every showgirl in Las Vegas. Debbie. No, don't make me feel better. It's not, it's, Debbie, your ass is not big. Your ass is big. It's big and juicy and sexy. And it's an honor to have it in my face every night. Be your hot fucking piece. What really sold this series to me was the true deception of the 1980s. Hey. Hi, Arthi. You going to the ball on Friday? Yeah. Wouldn't miss it. Good. I'm going to with the girls. Great. Bunch of straight girls going to an underground drag ball. Just what everybody wanted. But when the series ends with six different cliffhangers, it makes it really hard for me to recommend it to people. And that is probably why it has taken me this long to make a video about it. This next one is for Arthi, and it's from... Me, 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 me. I'm gay. Yeah, we know. Well, I needed to say it out loud, and I should have said it sooner. I'm sorry. Open your present. Unfortunately, COVID got in the way of the series' conclusion and left us hanging dry as fuck. But I really hope they decide to bring it back someday and give it the ending it truly deserves. Bobby said that rainbows are the symbol for gay pride. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Also got you a Playboy. <laughs> All three seasons are available and streaming on Netflix. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching.